trying to distill it down and make it short is the problem with our country. If I make a 10 minute YouTube video, you ain't watching it, and I know that. 7 minutes, you still ain't watching it. So, short and sweet, Ron Paul, not the racist. Simple as that. Uh, the, and all of this, all of this, the drug war, the war on terror, all this smoke screens. The main thing is the main thing, and the main thing is the central bank. Because all of this, the mortgage fraud, the, you know, where nobody's getting prosecuted, the, the crazy financial fraud we've got going on, the financial crisis, uh, all of this is perpetrated by the central bankers. And, and the drug war, central bank. You, you, you take a hard look at it, central bank, foreign wars. There's no way we could fund this if it wasn't for the central bank and debt. Right? And the answer to debt is not more debt. And the one guy that points this out blatantly is Ron Paul. The one guy that echoes our founding fathers consistently is racist, right? Well, the founding fathers owned slaves. Everybody wants to bring that up, right? Oh, that these founding fathers, they were, how hypocritical they own slaves. Look, the rest of the world envies the United States because we are the one nation on the planet where we are founded on ideals. And we, you know, adherence to those ideals has made us a great nation. The envy of the world up until quite recently, right? Nobody, nobody has been able to better that document, the Constitution for the United States of America. And the one guy that defends that consistently, he's the racist. The one guy that sounds like Martin Luther King, and I know what Martin Luther King sounds like because I was force-fed Martin Luther King by my mother when I was a teenager. I can hear those speeches in my head. Ron Paul echoes those speeches. Sounds like Martin Luther King when, on, on many issues, and he's the racist. Right? Defends Gandhi, defends Occupy Wall Street, and he's the racist. Really, you think we're falling for this? Really? Now, the one guy, and he has proven repeatedly his track record is impeccable. The one guy that consistently votes with the Constitution. Right? That one guy, the only guy that votes uh, based on the Constitution. And many times his stands are not popular. But, damn it, he's consistent, and, you know, his rationale is not crazy. It's based on the Constitution. Now, the fact that some people get away with calling that crazy is a sad testament to how far we've devolved and how far we've fallen from those principles. We debate torture in this country. It's ridiculous. The one guy that wants to end the wars and absolutely isn't for torture Right? You wouldn't have to write a, sign a petition or write a letter to Ron Paul. Please don't sign the NDAA. Because you know he'd never... Everybody knows. There's no question in anyone's mind whether he would veto that or not. The one guy. He's the racist, right? Where is this coming from? You can trace it back to the central bank. Right? I'm not saying that you know that's Bernanke that started this. What I'm saying is there's bankers and there's men in power who definitely don't want Ron Paul to become President of the United States, because then what happens to our central bank? Right? Their monopoly on debt might come to an end. In fact, we might have sound money again. Right? I mean, is he going to be able to pull that off in four years or eight years? I, 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 don't, I don't think he could, personally. The last guy that tried that got shot in, in broad daylight. Actually, a few of them tried that. And, you know, take a look at the, the ongoing war with the central bankers in, our, in, our, in the United States and our presidents. At that and look how history views them, the ones that got shot. Right? Andrew Jackson, the last guy. But anyway, don't want to digress. The one guy, the one guy that wants to end the Fed. And his name is Ron Paul, and he's the racist. They'll try anything, anything, any smokescreen, any any kind of, you know, the two sock puppets will get up there, oh, Democrats, oh, Republicans, oh, Democrats, oh, Republicans, uh, and try and fool you into thinking that they're talking about issues. The one issue is the main issue, and that is the money. All the money, right? Who issues it? And they issue it as debt. And the one guy that's talking about that is Ron Paul. But he's a racist. Are you falling for it? Right? The race card? Please.